Hi, my name is Robin Vervat. I'm uh, the owner of Vervat Company in Holland, manufacturer of sugar beet harvesters. Um, right now uh, we have here uh, the new machine, the Beet Eater XL25. First one out here in the States. And um, I just want to run by you a couple of things that uh, is special on this machine. Right here we have the defoliator. Um, it's an integral topper as we call it. That means that the leaf is chopped off and being put in the rows in between the bead. Um, behind that we have scalpers. Scalpers are adjustable from the cap. Both the thickness of the scalp and also the angle of the scalp can be adjusted in the cab. Um, right after the topping job we have the diggers. The diggers are different than the system used in the States. The States People in the States use uh, opal wheels, ground driven, and we have them vibrating shoes. We call them walking shares because they make a rotational movement, like an ellipse form in the soil, and the left one independently from the right one, and that wiggles out the bead very gently. So you'll be able to lift undeep as possible with, with this type of system. Um, between the diggers we have the rubber paddles, which are fairly common. Uh, basically they make sure that bead are not dropping out of the lifter. Now the bead come out of the ground and then there's a big difference than most other machines. Most other machines have rollers. The machines from the United States have grab rolls. Um, the competition in the self propelled have uh, rolls as well, but not grab rolls. They all turn the same direction. Uh, we have turbines. Uh, the turbines start to clean uh, out the soil as soon as the bead fall on them. So um, basically the bead are thrown to the outside of the, of the turbine. And the gates, which you can see here, the gates make sure the beads stay in and the soil comes out. Now you can select the, aggressive, uh, the, aggress the aggressiveness of cleaning by going for pigtails, as you see here. All the tines can move separately or we have the horizontal bars, but we'll see further back in the machine. The wheel setting is also different on this machine. We have three axles with all three different track width. The front ones are wide, the middle ones are standard, as wide as the machine, and the back ones are back together. That provides a, a single spread on the, on the whole working width. So the, the compaction is going to be less than with machines who are running twice in the same track. We have the elevator in line with the machine, not crossways. Why? Because if the machine sinks in, in wet conditions, the elevator stays clear from the ground. So, and also, as you can see on the other side of the machine, there will be more room for extra turbines, more cleaning. So we want to go around the machine, look at the back. Over here you see them turbines where I talked about. Um, most of the competitors only have three cleaning turbines. Uh, we have three in the front, followed by five cleaning turbines. So that's why we, in heavy going, we can have a cleaner sample. And these are the horizontal bars which I talked about. Um, they are sprung loaded by rubber silent blocks, and so they can move a little so the soil doesn't stick to it. And also it's friendly for the beat because it just passes through. Now, the more cleaning you need, the more pigtails you're gonna mount to increase the cleaning. Discharge elevator, um, that's about the um, uh, maximum height for unloading is about 12 feet, roughly. Um, of course, the, the steeper it is, the longer it takes. Um, when you unload on the pile, it should take about a minute to empty the tank, which is 25 tons. Um, what else do we have? How about engine? Engine. engine and drive. Yeah. What can you tell me there? The engine. Uh, we have uh, an engine which is similar than the Kenworth trucks. Um, it's uh, from the Packar company. Okay. Kenworth and Peterbilt is Packar company uh, companies, and we have an engine as well, uh, which is uh, 580 horsepower on this machine, and um, the drivetrain is uh, completely hydraulic, of course, and we use uh, hydraulics of Sauer Danfoss. So. Uh, it's pretty straightforward okay um, all the settings uh, nowadays uh, all, all of the hydraulics are um, controlled electrically 
Um, from the cab you can change all the settings, all the speeds. Um, it's all CAN bus nowadays. Uh, so if you if you move the machine faster, then the whole machine will speed up. The cleaning will speed up. Um, the engine runs at only 1200 RPMs, which is very low to make sure that uh, the fuel consumption is as low as possible. Very important. Now this is the biggest model. Uh, besides this, we have two smaller models. We have the Beat Eater um, 625, which is the same six-wheel machine, but then with a narrow front, only six rows. Um, then we have the 617, which is only two axles, and then it's a small front end with six rows on 20 inch, and then a 70 ton tank. So that's basically some brief information. Thank you. You're welcome.